today is a pretty exciting day at the shop. David has been here working for a little while. You can see he uh, went ahead and got the AN lines kind of made up and going over to the catch can over there. He's making himself a nice little bracket and uh, I think we'll probably hit that with a little bit of a uh, little bit of paint. But yeah, so one of the things that, uh, that we need to do to this thing, or we actually haven't been able to, uh, to start it since we've had the, the new fuel injectors in it, is uh, the actual ECU. So here we have, this is a ECU master um, EMU classic. So this is the, the classic version. Uh, there's not a crazy difference between the, the classic and the black that's in my super right now, but this one's just gonna be just fine for us. And uh, this right here is a plug and play adapter. So I'll go ahead and uh, open these guys up, show you guys what, what we're dealing with here. And I really like the ECU Master stuff just because it's, it's, it's literally like the best bang for your buck. Like I don't think you could get anything else that controls like VVTI on 2Js and all that stuff. Like the Classic will do all that stuff. Um, so you can see it's a really small ECU, but it has tons and tons of capabilities. Um, you can see it has this little port right here on the back. And we have this, which is a Bluetooth module. So we'll be able to hook it up to a, uh, like a Bluetooth tablet, or if we got like a Bluetooth radio, like a double din for it, we could actually plug that in there. You see it has the US, little USB and everything on the back to uh, you know actually load the tunes and everything. And then, so the box comes with all the little pins and like a nice little, uh, this is one thing that I really like, is it comes with this, which basically it shows you all your pins out, all your, your, your pins and, and exactly what they need to do. And uh, pretty nice little setup there. Some new pins and uh, you know, a, a little card for, uh, for tech support with Zach here in the US, USA. Um, then right here, which works really nice, they don't have these available for the BBTIs yet. This is a uh, plug and play adapter. So if you look at the stock ECU, this is the stock ECU side. And then right here, it goes over to this. And then this is a little, uh, basically like a little jumper harness. So we could actually tie into it with like the boost control solenoid, um, the wideband and all that type of stuff. So uh, now that we have, uh, I guess the catch can stuff pretty much figured out. I think Dave, did you figure out the fuel leak? Three on mine, it's too, too messed up. So right here we have, uh, this is the... Oh, I moved it. Okay. I put the plug in the back. So there's a, uh, we're using a little uh, fuel pressure fitting or like basically a fuel pressure gauge on the actual fuel rail. Uh, since we do have the direct mount fuel pressure regulator right back there, this is the fuel pressure regulator that mounts directly onto the rail. So it kind of tidies up the engine bay makes everything really simple and clean. But in order to, uh, to use that and actually see the pressures, we, we need a, uh, a fuel pressure gauge. On my car, um, that Supra right there, we actually have a uh, like an electronic fuel pressure sensor and we have it tied into the ECU. We have oil pressure and a bunch of other stuff like that. And you can do the same thing with, uh, with this whole setup too. Uh, basically you could tap it in there and you could set safeties, ins and outs and all that stuff. But since it's kind of a fairly simple operation that we're doing with this thing. We're not going too crazy with it. Uh, I don't think we'll you know, need any of that stuff right now, but you could always do that stuff in the future. Um, but man, this car is just turning out so nice. And uh, I guess kind of the bad thing is I'm, I'm flying out uh, tomorrow to go to help Adam with his uh, FD Pro 2 program again. So I actually won't be here for the end of the giveaway. So uh, we're actually getting ready. We're actually really trying to rush today because we're gonna head up to, uh, to PFI Speed, um, and Brent up there is gonna throw it on the dyno and get a nice tune on it for us, which will be really nice. So I can actually drive it a little bit tomorrow before, uh, before I actually have to fly out again, and, uh, and then these guys will be able to kind of take care of it, get some more video and a little bit more content for you guys before the end of the giveaway, which by the time you guys see this video is probably gonna be two days left. So the, the giveaway does end Friday at Basically 11 59, 59 Mountain Standard Time here in Colorado. Um, so that is May 10th. And I'm pretty sure that's Friday. Is that Friday? Oh. Friday? That's the end of the giveaway? Yeah. So if you guys haven't got yourselves entered, I mean, there, there's no better time than now. Oh, we do have these new, uh, these are like mesh trucker hats. So you can see they have the logo on the front now. And uh, we do have some shift knobs on the website. Those might be sold by the time you guys get here. We only had like 33 of them. But... I'm gonna quit. Uh, I'm gonna quit babbling. We're gonna throw this uh, ECU in there real quick. I might just try it. Well, actually, we need to wire in the O2 sensor, 
like I said, basically they give you all the plugs and everything and like the little harness. So we'll just tap into uh, into this and the, all these plugs and basically hook up the wideband, hook up the boost, plug it in, load a base map on it. Should be able to uh, basically start it up and load it in the trailer and take it for a rip. Well, take it to the dyno so that it can rip. I had a couple last minute things. I uh, went ahead and got the boost controller hooked up right there. Went ahead and ran the vacuum lines, everything over the intake manifold. Um, I did figure out the thing for that fuel pressure gauge. So for now, we're able to just run a little AN line and bring the gauge up here. I haven't turned it on to see if it leaks yet or not. But uh, a couple more vacuum things done. Dave's getting the power steering reservoir on right now. And uh, I'm over here messing with the uh, ECU master or plugging in like the injector data and stuff. You can see if you guys ever need to do like Deech Works injector data, they have basically everything right on uh, on their website. So you just go over here to characterization summaries, click on your injectors, it'll pull up like a little PDF. And basically what we're looking for is the battery offset. This is the fuel pressure right there. So we're gonna have the fuel pressure set at three bar, which is like 43. So you just change the, the voltage. This is basically the dead times on the injectors. So you come over here and you do voltage offset. So this right here, that is the voltage. So let's say at 14 volts, it's at 0.91 dead time or whatever. Um, basically you kind of scale that. And then you just come over here to general, change the inject the CCs to 1000 CCs, and uh, we should be ready to pretty much start it. So I just need to uh, plug it into the, actually put the ECU in the car, plug it in and uh, load this base map on it. And then we could probably turn the key and see if she'll freaking fire up. Um, basically after Dave gets done with that. Uh, before that, I do need, or we do need to finish wiring the wideband and stuff into this little jumper harness. And then we do need to wire the boost thing. Um, so it is, it's getting kind of late. We're kind of running out of a little bit of time, but uh, I don't know. We're gonna, we're gonna try to, try to do it. Brent said, we'll freaking get her done. I feel, feel bad getting up there late. Um, but you know, sometimes you gotta do what, what you gotta do. We're just gonna, we're just gonna try. David is over here wiring in this uh, wideband plug into the little ECU jumper harness, and uh, everything's looking good with that. I went ahead and made this little uh, little harness with this nylon sheeting. This is like the stuff where it won't let anything rub through it, and this was gonna go to the boost solenoid, and then we'll tie one of these into the ECU, and then one of these into a power, and uh, so that way we'll actually have boost control. So yeah, hook that stuff up. Boost controller's all right here, and we'll just run that in a nice little spot. Run it through the grommet. Right over by the ECU, we should be able to plug everything in, fire it up, and we'll see. We'll see how we're doing on time. See if we'll uh, we'll be able to make it up to uh, up to PFI today. If not, they said tomorrow morning works. But the bad thing is, is I'm flying out tomorrow night um, to go to Florida, not Florida, Atlanta. So really, really trying to hustle and get some things done on this. But uh, it's gonna it's gonna start probably here in, within an hour. Got the ECU connected, everything plugged in. Down over there on that side, you can see. Plugs right into everything, looks just like factory. Like the factory plug, and then we have the ECU, we got the wideband, we got the boost control, all that stuff. We have it plugged into ECU master. So you got it synced up over here, it's connected. And so now, I guess this is a moment of truth. See, it shows the TPS at 10%, maybe you'll... So check this out. So this right here is a custom motion auto shift knob. 
has a little set screw in here. There's only, well actually now there's 32 of these things because I took this one for here. So we're gonna go ahead and install it in the interior of this braking system. So we're taking the, we're taking the smoothie off of here. Use the set screw on it. Look at that though. I mean that's a, it's not a bad looking, looking shift knob. Some last minute dyno prep. Um, probably just gonna go up to, uh, well actually, for sure we're going up to the dyno tomorrow because it's like 11 o'clock at night. Um, basically kind of told Brent that, you know, we need a little bit more time to do a couple of things and, uh, and he was fine with that. He said that, you know, kind of tomorrow morning he could, uh, he could squeeze us in. So really appreciate that. So we're going to go ahead and um, finish up a couple of little things here. David is finishing wiring this relay to the, to the fans. We ran a signal wire over to the ECU and we're just going to go ahead and trigger the fans via the ECU, which just makes sense because you could actually adjust everything and, you know, turn them off and on and all that other stuff, depending on speed, as well as like if the AC is on, stuff like that. And uh, I don't know, that's just one of the things that's really nice about having a standalone. You know, you have boost control, you could play with the fan settings, you could, you know, just play with timing and, and just all the, all the magical stuff. Uh, inputs, outputs, anti-lag, launch control, all that cool stuff. So uh, yeah, we got all that stuff kind of set up in here. In the, in the ECU, I didn't really show you guys how this thing sits in here. Definitely still need to kind of tuck it up, but um, it's just really cool having that kind of plug and play adapter in there. Um, but yeah, so we're just gonna continue doing a couple little things on this, and then I'm just getting ready to pull off the front bumper so that we could actually load it in the trailer, because I know for sure that that, that thing's gonna scrape going in. And then uh, obviously when, the, when we're on the dyno, like you just can't have that thing in there. Did you get it all wired, Dave? Yeah. So yeah. Little uh, little relay trigger in the fans and be ready to rip. All right, guys. So uh, she's all loaded up, ready to go. We pulled the bumper off, but slapped it back on because I couldn't figure out a good way to put it in here. Got the emblem on the front, man. It's it's just looking like a freaking Supra. So that's uh, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Le pretty much two days. Like two days by the time you guys are watching this video, left to enter this thing. Friday midnight, Colorado. That's that's when it ends. So uh, again, I really do appreciate every single one of you guys that uh, that has got it entered. I mean, it really does kind of support the channel and go towards like the future builds and all that other stuff. So. And it's your boy, like it's me. It's like I'm not some random Facebook page that you see advertisements from. I mean, you've probably seen some advertisements from me, but um, like you guys, you guys know who I am and, and what I do and, and all that type of stuff. I mean, this is this is a cool car, really cool opportunity for one of you guys, and uh, and I'm really stoked for whoever freaking wins this thing. But we, uh, I'm gonna go home, grab a couple hours of sleep, head up to PFI, uh, get it on the freaking dyno, see how she does up there. We have a, a video shoot after that for like some a couple little more promo stuff. And then, straight to Atlanta. So, uh, so Ty and Dave are gonna drive the truck and trailer back with this thing, and I'm gonna hop on a plane in Denver and head to Atlanta, and I'll be gone when the giveaway is over. So I'll be back on Sunday the 13th. Um, so yeah, just busy, busy, busy. Again, really, really appreciate Dave and Ty and everything, you know, pretty much everybody who's, who's helped with this whole process, and um, you know, especially with me, I'd be on out of town. But uh, it's gonna be it. Guys, see you guys later.